Hey folks, Sega Sonic fan here, and I'm going to show you all how to do a really cool little hack to your older laptops, which really are not that old, that uh, use the mSATA interface, which looks like this, for your SSDs. Now, nowadays, everything is the M.2 standard, but if you were, um, I guess, unfortunate enough to get a computer around 2012, uh, I forget when that standard actually was finally, officially fully adopted, but there was a period where things were using a PCIe, um, also known as mSATA slot, for SSDs, for solid state drives. And uh, it becomes a bit of a pickle because getting those drives nowadays is not very easy, especially if you want them in a larger form factor. Now, I have this lovely laptop, which I use a lot. I really like it, and it's really held up over the years but uh, it comes with this mSATA for your SSD. Also, quick side note, it's the same plug for your wireless LAN card. However, you cannot just put an SSD in here. It, the computer will not recognize it. So um, you'll see here it's actually labeled SSD on the motherboard, and that is important because there are extra data lines that it will address to do that. So um, I'm going to show you today how you can get a very cheap SSD, and this was uh, from another YouTube video uh, from another uh, person uh, made a video about this, which I'll try to link in the description, but that video was a little blurry, it was a little hard to see what was going on, and so I thought I'd make a better version to show you all. Um, and also, just because I have this here in front of me right now, I will point out that I had to add the two screw stoppers for uh, for the elongated SSD, because I'm using a full size one now instead of a half size. So if you want to experience extra hard to get ones, this, this particular motherboard only uses the half size one, and it actually comes with this SanDisk one. Uh, and I upgraded to a King Spec, which is this one, and this thing is kind of garbage, in my opinion. It's pretty sluggish. I mean, I guess it's good enough for a lot of applications, but it's been a pain to have to be weighed down by this. It's not a great SSD and it's expensive. It's not like you get, you save a bunch of money for a crappy SSD. It's almost the same price as a, as a reputable brand. So I would avoid the King specs if you can, but as you can see, it only, it usually comes with just this one mounting screw. They actually left out the second one. They really cheaped out. So you just get that one mounting screw for the half size and that's it. Well, um, you can just take, if you have a full size, you can do some tricks where you can use some adhesive tape or they have that foam tape that I like to use. Um, however, I went ahead and just found a scrap motherboard because I have some broken motherboards around and ended up using that instead. And then I just uh, used a heat gun to remove these two posts. I had to give it a few minutes because it had to get quite hot to remove them. And uh, then I used some uh, flux and desoldering braid to really flatten out the contacts and then I, you know, so you don't want them to be the wrong height. And uh, then I got them in place here. So that'll be ready to go. But the more important part of this video is the portable SSD, the T5 or the T3 by Samsung. Uh, what's really interesting about these that someone discovered is that they have mSATA drives inside. They have pretty swanky Evo 860 uh, for the T5 M SATA drives, which is at the time of this recording one of the fastest, nicest solid state drives you can get uh, for as a consumer grade hard drive. And I thought I'd show you all how to do this upgrade. So it's pretty straightforward, but uh, you do need to go kind of slow and you do need to be kind of careful. And uh, the benefit of this is that you will actually get a very nice enclosure for your other mSATA drive, maybe the one you're taking out, or maybe I'll put this King Spec one in there, and you get the hard drive that you were probably going to buy in the first place, and here's the kicker, it's less money than if you were to just buy the mSATA drive by itself. You actually save about 50 bucks, so it is pretty sweet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back together, and then you'll see, um, you know, the kind of the reverse process for how this works. I'm going to put the half size one in here for right now. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I'm going to put the uh, the the really small. My my laptop originally came with a 24 gigabyte SSD, really tiny, and so that actually plugs in. It doesn't have the usual, you know, uh, stress 
support mount version of things. Um, or whatever, whatever you call it, uh, you know, we have to push it down. I wouldn't call it a stress mount, but you get my drift. Uh, and then there's these two plastic clips that it has to go under, as well as clips on either side. And the trick with this, folks, is to just go really slow. And those, those will clip. So when you're taking this out, this is actually the hardest part. You'll remove, there's a single screw here and you'll just sort of gently you know lift the the sides here and gently i kind of lift up over on this part of the pcb try to not lift it up by the hard drive because that's the important part and you'll see it just unclipped and then you can kind of wiggle it and and pull it out that way so i'm putting this back together but it, you just do it in the reverse order um and so yeah there'll be that one screw there which i guess i might as well put in since i'm doing this in the in the reverse order here. And I have a few of the screws over here. And it slides in like so. And then there's the cover plate here. And now it's basically all together. What you would do is there's just a screw, you know, two screws on each side. And originally I used my heat gun to remove the, uh, the adhesive. There's just some black adhesive, you know, kind of uh, aesthetic tape that covers both sides. And that's it. So if you're doing this in the reverse order to get out your MSATA drive, you just remove that tape on both sides. Two screws, two screws. You just push it out after that. Um, or you can pull it like so. And then you remove the one screw here, undo the clips on the two sides, and then you can kind of unclip this motherboard. And there, there are going to be two screws holding your SSD originally, you know, this one that comes in it. So there will be those two screws at the top as well to remove. Now I opted to keep the, uh, the foam on here. Uh, this might actually be useful for uh, heat, for heat, uh, heat sinking in a sense. Uh, sometimes this foam stuff helps for that. Um, could be used to uh, help with vibration and stuff like that for, you know, how much these are moving around. I'm not sure, though. I'm actually a little bit on the fence if I should remove this or not. Um, feel free to let me know if if that's useful for heat or not. There is another one that I believe I took off already. There's a pink one on the underside as well. Uh, so it's kind of sandwiched in there. And when you do remove this, you'll just have to lift up on that side and then on the other side and then it pulls out and like I said it's unusual for them to pull out so uh, keep that in mind but I'm really giving you a lot more detail than you probably need it's it's really quite straightforward I'm just being uh, extra thorough so that nobody uh, breaks their their hundred plus dollar hard drive this is a one terabyte so this cost me hundred thirty dollars I think after shipping and tax and all that but uh, yeah it's better than paying 150 or more for the same thing and you don't get the enclosure. Now I get a nice super fast external drive with my old uh, SSD and I have this nice new SSD which I'll pop in the laptop and uh, the nice thing too is uh, Samsung has free migration software which will actually copy your old SSD onto this and you'll just be ready to go plug and play. You don't have to uh, clone it with uh, special cloning software either. So hopefully this video is useful for you. Um, as usual, I do not care if you like, I do not care if you subscribe. I make these videos to help people and uh, I'm not here to promote any particular thing. Um, have fun upgrading your laptops um, and uh, I'll try to post in the link the, the, the original videos I got this, this concept from because give credit where credit is due. This is Sega Sonic Fan, signing out.